includes some funding for infrastructure projects, including a plan to prevent throughway toll hikes this year, but it is much less than advocates were hoping to see. They did call for investing the full $5 billion worth of bank settlements on upgrading the state's roads and bridges and public transportation systems. The governor did not do that. Here to talk about what will be getting funded and what won't is Mike Elmendorf. He is the president of the Associated General Contractors. Welcome back. Thank you. Nice to Good see to you. Good to be back. Nice to see you. Um, so first of all, I, I just want to ask you this question. $5 billion in settlement funds. Everyone seemed to agree we should uh, not use this for one shot to, to, do, to plug a few holes, to get a few projects done. Okay. But why is it a good idea to put $1.3 billion as a one-time cash infusion into a troubled agency to prevent toll hikes just for now until what? You buy yourself some time right. so you could figure out how to prevent toll hikes in the future? Yeah, well, I mean, if that's what the purpose of that $1.3 billion is, I don't think it's a good idea. And I think Senator Skelos has said the same thing, that he would think that's a one-shot. Um, there's a couple of problems with that. That varies with authorities yep, from, from administration to administration. Yep. It's the same, but um, you know, but they are they are separate in in meaningful ways, and they are a toll supported system, and they have operated that way for decades. And they've started to have financial problems, really pressure on them not to raise tolls. Right. And nobody likes toll increases, but at the end of the day, they have to maintain their system. And historically, they've had a system that's been in better shape than the rest of the state system because they've been able to look at it and say, well, here's what our needs are. So here's what it's going to cost. So here's what we need to charge our customers, the people who use the right. throughway, and so right. that's what you've got. They've not been able to do that in a while. And you saw a couple of years ago uh, when they tried to do the the massive commercial toll increase of 40 percent, which people freaked didn't out. go and over they very well. Back. Um, you know, and even even the trucking industry, you know, which has historically supported incremental increases, did for a year, which is really pretty astounding. That would be a really terrible use of that money if it's if it's going to be a capital investment on the Tappan Zee Bridge. I think that's a different conversation, but that's not what I heard clear, yesterday. Right, that's not what I heard either. It wasn't terribly clear is the problem, right? I mean, is it is it clear in the actual budget document? The, the budget documents are ex explained in a way that is less troubling than what I, what I heard. Um, actually, not just yesterday, but also Tuesday in the, the speech that the governor gave downstate. Abney, right. Um, but, you know, we should not be spending state dollars to suppress tolls at the Thruway Authority. Tolls need to go up at the Thruway Authority. People may not want to hear that. I don't necessarily but cost more than the old but one. But it's probably eventually going to, those tolls are going to go up. We don't are. know what the tolls are going to be on right. that bridge. What about this concept that, you know, uh, and this was reported, but it wasn't in the budget, I don't believe, that they might be perhaps uh, combining some of the agencies that run some of the bridges and authorities so you can look at a more reasonable tolling structure all across the board well there there's a couple of things there the, the go no problem the governor um a couple of years ago i believe it was one of his commissions had looked at combining the throughway authority Correct. and the bridge authority Correct. bridge authority is very small they you know they only, um and it's so there's not a proposal from the governor now i think senator carlucci has a bill that's looking at that that's Correct. something we can look at but that's not really part of the governor's plan and we're more focused overall on the issue of funding because as you pointed out you've got this sort of, not sort of, this unique moment where the state has these billions of found dollars and you've got, I think, well-documented, massive, outstanding, long-standing infrastructure needs and everybody felt this was a, an opportunity to really make a significant down payment on those needs because these are all things we have to do. Well, not everybody, eventually. but I mean, well, and he's also, he's putting really. close to a billion, 850 million into reserve, if, I, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. I think one point five billion is going for an economic development um, competition for upstate New York in which seven regions compete but only three of them win. I mean, the, are these things that you don't agree with? Like a re rainy day fund, I mean, that's a good idea, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I think, you know, fiscal restraint and responsibility is a good thing. You know, you're not going to see uh, anyone who represents and can talk about whether or not they think that's the best way to go. There are certainly going to be some infrastructure components there. Um, but, you know, I think really, you know, one of the things that was disappointing to us was to not see a more significant investment made both in the DOT system, which mm -hmm. has major needs. The governor's own uh, New York Opportunity Agenda book yesterday talked about how you've got 6,000 bridges in New York that are, uh, are in need of repair and 60% of our roads <laughs> in need of repair. Um, but when you look at the additional resources that were made available for the DOT system, it's it's you know fairly meager compared to the needs and the same as our industry which was and he said this twice he said infrastructure is less about roads and bridges in my opinion and more about broadband and certainly we support 
broadband uh, expansion. There's parts of the state where you, you can't even get high-speed internet service. Right. For a junkie like me, I try to avoid those parts of the state right now because <laughs> right. I get the shakes, right? So right. With this your is phone, something, right, this is something that we support, but you can't talk about doing that instead of supporting the infrastructure that's already there because we can't upload our kids to school yet, right? We can't tweak grandma out of the hospital. We've got to have infrastructure and our communities and our economy rely on that infrastructure and it's crumbling. Well, and we should just know, I mean, you were, so you were at the Abney breakfast, it sounds like to me. I wasn't, you, no. you weren't. Did you see, you watched the I speech watched then? It, okay. Yeah. I mean, one of the things, he, he was very downstate focused because of course it was a downstate audience, but also, I mean, just today, and you talk about tolls going up or fares going up, the MTA voted itself an, another hike. Voted forward with, I think, $15 billion in needs. And they got an additional $750 million, which, which DOT, also got. DOTs is over a five-year period. It deals with a, a specific group of, of bridges that have needs. Uh, the MTA money is a little less clear, and that's great, right? I mean, but we, there needs to be a higher level of investment in the system than that, do and this was the moment to do it. Yeah, do you think, well, really, um, I've seen this reported before or, or, or hypothesized before, he's not really a transportation Signature, project. it's one of the largest, I think, if not the largest um, infrastructure projects that's going on in the U.S. right now. And it's and it's a really big deal. It, and it's great. But then, you know, you have I had the rural highway superintendents in here and they were like, yeah, but if nobody can. Get Bridge becomes less important if everything is crumbling on either side of it. And, you know, the repaving or reconstructing a road, uh, you know, somewhere in the state or, or repairing or replacing a bridge somewhere in the state, it might not it might not make the evening news, right? It might not seem like an exciting project, but it's an important project. And it's one of the basic obligations of government to maintain that infrastructure. So now the question is, what's, where do we go from here? So the governor has put out his proposal. The legislature is where you go to try and influence them to add more money. I mean, that's what they can do. They can go over there. That's problematic. You can go to the Senate, and you, you probably have a, a strong support system in the Senate, because I know the Senate Republicans are concerned about, as you, note, as you noted, a lot of what you're saying. But if you can't, it takes three to tango. And if one sort of transcends politics, and there aren't many of those around, right? Um, you know, we've been with our Rebuild New York Now coalition that AGC is part of. Right. We've been traveling across the state. We've been having uh, press conferences with mayors, county executives, local officials in every corner of the state from every political persuasion that you can find. I, you know, I crossed paths with Senator Stuart Cousins in the hallway. We were with her. Uh, uh, partisan issue. And I think there's a lot of support out there in both houses, in both parties, around the state, recognizing that this is really a year of opportunity for infrastructure. And as you pointed out, you know, the whole five billion, the whole five billion was never going to go to any one place. But the sad reality is that even if the whole five billion went to infrastructure, even if you split it down the middle between DOT and the MTA, it's a nice small down payment on what the outstanding needs are there. Right. When you look in real dollars to what's what's being spent on the DOT system now compared to 10 years ago when you adjust for inflation, we're spending over $2 billion less now than we were then adjusting for inflation. If you look at what's been proposed this week, going forward, if you, if you extrapolate that out to a five-year plan, it's a billion dollars less than in the last five-year plan. And the needs haven't gone down. If anything, the needs get worse because each year the stuff gets older. Right. And each year it's more beat up by winter and everything else that happens. And so the needs are getting bigger. The resources are getting less. Washington's got to do their part. We've talked about that. This is not a unique New York problem, no. although in some ways it's worse in New York. Our stuff's older. Our winters are harsher. Than, you know, Washington's got to step up to the plate and get their, their affairs in order to, to help do this as well. But we've got to do more. We don't have the option not to because we need the infrastructure. Well, we will see. I mean, you and the parade of other people who will sit in that chair and tell me that we need to do more. And, and I believe that we do. It's just that there's a limited amount of resources. So we'll talk more about it. You Mike Elmendorf, I thank you so much for your time, as always. Now still ahead, Albany County.